introduction. Yeah. Nice. So when uh, okay, so good morning, good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we are talking now um, as a small introduction. We're still waiting for some uh, people coming in, but we are talking uh, still about how we can uh, make our pipeline uh, better, faster, uh, wiser, uh, more efficient in terms of memory footprint, etc. Yeah, uh, you've started, uh, Slava. Yeah, so, so um, yeah, you just tell what, what you did. So there are some some fixes, right, in, in COVID-19 uh, repository. So just tell what happened. And uh, it was just, just previous version, right? Uh, had yeah. some problems. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fixed uh, and uh, now, um now it's running on the server but still it's like 40 uh, cpus engaged each mm -hmm. having at least eight uh, gigabytes ram uh, at disposal okay. the question is uh yeah it's like it's still uh, something like 20 hours to finish i mean like the prediction uh of course it can vary because actually it uh, the estimation at the beginning of each pipeline is like not because you have a, a kind of part of distribution of the length of all documents. So uh, some uh, samples, some uh, documents are, are processed uh, longer, but on average, you have a lot of small documents. Like those papers are not all papers are thirty pages long. The, so, uh, I see there are some quite changes, uh, right? So like uh, in uh, pipeline script you have 29 strings modified yeah yeah i, I put some, some extra strings to uh pipeline oh, okay wait 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 wait, wait. Uh, repository covid uh hi anton are you hearing us pipeline and uh, what would be nice uh, if you'll create config script only just to put all configuration about a folder that should be processed and uh, about number of processes so people can ki kind of customize uh, to their own configuration okay it's nice to have okay yeah okay uh, wait, uh, wait. i don't know config file config file uh, also requirement file because yes. of the story of uh, with not numpy but uh, no yes. no so you should really specify versions uh, yeah so to have like specific versions of uh, numpy and uh, yeah. other modules and uh, in this configuration file it would be nice to have uh, all uh, variables like folder and number of processes and uh, yeah uh, probably all models because it's also interesting exercise just just to get not everything uh, loaded into memory but like one by one yes to see what, what actually works better and how we can speed up some models yes, experiment yeah you, you, you have... so all these uh things we we can just uh put in like a special configuration file and yeah we can uh, i will adopt it and it's probably better to use environment <clears throat> name like environment state or something yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah I, I, ju just one thing otherwise i will forget um i, I tried to find uh, your invitation for on corona why uh, uh, github repository i i couldn't find it okay yeah so there is you're not the first person <laughs> looks like there is a bug on github platform because you don't use email you use your github account name so sometimes that email doesn't go through maybe with your settings of, but it doesn't matter. So I send you a DM on Slack. Like if you go to github.com slash okay. like Corona -Y, look for banner and like uh, with a button like accept or not, please check it out. Okay. Um, I, 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 okay. I see it ago, Nicholas had the same trouble and like we were like searching for like link where you actually could see it. It's really not obvious. Okay. It's never good. on your dashboard. Okay. Good. 
Good, thanks, thanks a lot. So uh, just to repeat, uh, yeah, like now it's uh, the estimation is that it will take 20 hours uh, to finish all, to, pro to finish the whole uh, V19. I have uh, more 43 uh, CPUs running on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like, uh, it's this, uh, I'm, yeah, it's still pondering about how we can make it faster. And uh, I, I don't understand why uh, in the case of Brandon, we had such a, like it was uh, much faster. Like it, it wasn't 42, uh, 24 hours, something like that. No, it I think it was even more. At least more. Well, it was less with articles, so I yeah, think we got the speed up. And also, just uh, don't um, don't forget that uh, the way how he did it, uh, it was based on Delta. So in his process, he's creating a file called uh, metadata underscore alt or something, and uh, he's making a kind of um, he's extracting new papers descriptions, and he does. Did processing only okay only yeah these uh, papers okay so that's why in this case you of course if there are not, not so many new uh, papers uh, after you can incrementally yeah you don't repeat the same job uh, every weekend or something exactly yeah so this is what we should do also because uh, it makes no sense to yeah, so that, yeah that, that's why I'm so uh, so uh, so motivated to finish v19 because that, that then we have a some a ground base we can like the starting point, we can build the next version just in in couple hours, even locally, uh, just by processing couple thousands documents. And so yeah, and uh, we should, I think, to speed up because a lot of people uh, are yeah, pushing me and uh, asking when when finally it will be available. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, it's like. I'm also quite nervous about it because it's irritating also for me. And not, not the, those questions, but the, the situation that we stuck yeah. in, in the sense, okay, now it's like the 10, day 25, still making pipeline, uh, pipeline, uh, sorry, uh, building up pipeline. It's like, no, no, that's, I hope that it, it won't crash. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have already, wait, how many, like, uh, have almost uh, 700 docs already processed. Okay, we will see. I hope, uh, keep uh, the fingers crossed and, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like about magic. Yeah, so, sorry for that, but. Yeah. yeah, so so for future release, we, we need to make it really uh, kind of sustainable. So this uh, airflow and uh, this transparency of all processes. Because if it will crash somewhere and uh, God yeah. knows where exactly, you have to uh, re-execute the process again. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this, now this version is okay. It is like the, the advantage of this uh, of this version is that because it's processing one file at the moment yeah. and also after each file is already processed it is uh, written down on on the hard disk even mm -hmm. if you crash in the middle somewhere in the middle then you have at least 50 percent of files processed fully okay so, so the the like even now if after a couple of hours something is will will be crashed okay it mm -hmm. sucks, but still, you, you we have we can do delta uh, in a couple of minutes. You can just to make a uh, like prune the list what is done, what is not yet, mm -hmm. done, and you can proceed further uh, after okay. the bug, bug is removed. Uh, so I think that's that's a kind of advantage I I chance to to, to make. That's just in the case that so that we don't lose so so many hours uh, yeah. rerunning re everything mm -hmm. and meanwhile i will write, i will start the same process because uh, i just want to understand what parts actually uh, can be optimized and uh, yeah we, we, we yeah. just need to speed up if something will happen we, we should find the reason why it's happening and uh, yeah i mean like uh, as as asked by you okay i'm going Today, I hope maybe 
tomorrow maybe i don't know because i have also my regular work like to to provide some real documentation on the pipeline mm -hmm. uh, those variables uh, requirement file uh, uh, configuration file yeah. and so that it's like a, a decent python script to uh, to to play uh, around with mm -hmm. and um and then there's of course is a question question about optimization. Uh, do we need all uh, linkers from Science Spacey? Um, yeah, I have really big concerns about that. To be honest, uh, that we need to do a processing for all uh, linkers. Yeah, it's just, it's all quite, I, because actually I I don't use the, those data for bio bioscience proposes yeah. because I'm completely green about it. And my question is, okay, do we need all five models? Do we need all, because, yeah. No, 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 but, but uh, we need to do processing. So we have to update everything in, in all uh, our systems. So it should be Elastic, MongoDB, and uh, so everything should be up to date. And after we need to find uh, experts, um from biological science and we should ask about uh, some kind of evaluation yeah because i also have some concerns so it seems uh, to me like uh, in some cases entities uh, were not e extracted correctly and i don't know if it's problem of model itself or yeah. something wrong with this process yeah yeah, so, I, I see. yeah. I see also that uh, that for instance chemical compounds and you got uh, geographical names like uh, Ukraine, Brussels, something as a chemical compound and it's like okay uh, in terms of chemistry I'm not specialist but maybe Brussels is the name of a medicine or a substance or something like that mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's just the, the matter of models that they are you have some uh, confidence uh, like some accuracy uh, yeah. rate for each of the, those models, and sometimes they're, they're just not perfect, like like all models. And then the question is of, of when we have an output of like more or less, like you don't have one hundred percent correctness, uh, accurate. Yeah, but, accurate. but at least you should be uh, understandable why it was recognized as a, as entity. And you know we already did integration of uh, this pipeline with the Kana. Yes, yeah. uh, our annotation tool, and well, this is something that preventing me now to make it public because I see a lot of uh, entities that should be not actually recognized. Yeah. So it seems like like uh, if entity is consistent of few words, and if there is only one matching word, it's already recognized as entity, so it's not accurate, right? Yeah. I mean, like th that's why why I had also those concerns. Okay, my, they are using those entities, but even I sampled a couple of them uh, just to look how how it works. Okay, sometimes there mm -hmm. is some biomedicine stuff. I cannot evaluate it, but sometimes mm -hmm. for hundred percent sure. Okay, that's not the correct. Uh, no, no, no. We don't need hundred, and even I, I think human is not able to. Uh, to deliver this kind of quality, but at least it should be understandable, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and explainable. <laughs> and yeah. if there are some things that basically we are not able to commu communicate to ourselves, right? So yeah. how we are going to answer all these questions from medical community? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so okay, that that's the next question. I mean, like uh, uh, the most uh, the most important thing I think. For now, it's like just to get the the V19, and once it's it's done, then we can uh, we can mm -hmm. proceed further uh, uh, with some some amelioration of those data, uh, and also the pipeline itself. Because if UMLS, it's the most general ontology. So mm -hmm. I I have like okay, I'm, that's why I'm not specialist. I, I cannot tell you. And I, do, I, 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 I also I haven't heard from other members of Corona Y if they are actively u, uh, using other types of models from uh, pi Brandon's pipeline, like not UMLS but those uh, smaller models. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I, I was in the call with Charlie today, and also he he asked about RDF, how how actually to expose all 
um, all data is a knowledge graph. And I just simply responded, we don't have stakeholders at the moment. So okay. it should be just published somewhere. And after we'll find uh, interested uh, stakeholders, we can actually uh, make it make some kind of use of this, right? Mm -hmm. But without stakeholders, without people that actually work in this, this kind of data, it's not possible to predict uh, uh, to which ontology uh, we, we, we should stick and uh, how to uh, deliver, deliver these uh, results. Yeah, but so in a sense, we're, we're chicken, like solving chicken egg paradox. We first need to give them something, then they will use. Otherwise, yeah. nobody will be using anything except exactly. maybe a few things. But yeah. so regarding the uh, this NAR entities that we do, uh, I think task ties are using something because Christine last week was requesting, can we expand? Um, like whatever we do, so science spacey, all of those models. Mm -hmm. And then in addition, I forgot which university, but they kind of published, but they failed to keep updated their model that essentially uh, a super set of science spacey, other spacey models, et cetera, all for uh, like all tweaked for COVID-19 things. Mm -hmm. And in a sense, what I got from that conversation is just kind of like, okay, so, People definitely try to do it and they get much better like recall. Oh, one of the issues why we have a lot of noise in the recognition, because what I saw, this whole field, everybody is optimizing for recall. Just kind of like everything, like the more you do, like the, the metric, the better, and mm -hmm. nobody cares if it's, you know, false positive or something. Exactly. So anyways. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in a sense, I think like, there are two paths for, for us here. It's either like push like other like find other models that people are using, like add into science space, etc. And mm -hmm. then we know that they are optimized for recall. Then after that, we need to build a next step to kind of filter it out, and probably this will be the best way to go. Or mm -hmm. we will probably end up doing our own model that you know optimized for both, but then it's again it's kind of hard. Because there is a reason why the rest of the field is everybody's just like, okay, let's recognize as much as possible. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like yeah they were training new models. It's like, okay, that's the task as well, on its own. Yes. So, like, again, that's why the way we're architecturing right, right, right now, right, it's to have all of those, like the models we want to run in, in this environment config file, et cetera so that you know other people could try the same pipeline with different models and that they will just so we'll crowdsource this process a little bit and then we'll see what actually kind of like you know st state of the art solution for that mm -hmm. yeah so that's how i see it and uh, we have a new member here so mickey cook mm -hmm. can you probably uh yeah some yeah, yeah. I, I think mickey cook Can Are you hearing us? Or see? It was not Mitiko. I oh, I think so. <laughs> actually Mitiko um, wrote. I mean, uh, messaged me today. Uh, he work now like uh, for um, uh, for whom he was. Wait, I I had this conversation somewhere here. Stuck. Uh, 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 yeah, with Imran, and he finished uh, this task, and now he asked me for a new one, and mm -hmm. I uh, forwarded him to you, Slava. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah, you have plenty of work, so uh, mm -hmm. you need people, but. Vitigo, can you hear us? Or could you at least uh, uh, write a message in the chat? Give, give, give us a sign of life. Vitigo, okay. Maybe, okay, later on. I mean. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He can hear us. Okay. Yes. Can, can you introduce? Okay. Good. <laughs> like, 
it's yeah contact is i think the minister. microphone doesn't work for something uh, okay but the idea is just uh, like the proposal was just the, uh, that mitiko can start now doing something uh, assigned by slava uh, about those um, different data sets and a kind of machine learning approach we can develop to uh, to compare them uh, with each other and to evaluate Mm -hmm. Some yeah. magically, I mean, like. And uh, I, I just tried a okay. uh, last update from from uh, your repository, Lukas, and I am facing, I think, another problem now. Uh, what is? So it's a, a sentence sizer, right? A component that should be added to pipeline. Uh, could you copy paste the the, um, the oh, error message? Yes. Synthesizer. Do I have something something like that in my pipeline? Synthesizer. So it's basically it's breaking after like five minutes. Okay. A processing and. Uh, Synthesizer. Uh, there is also possibility that I just have different uh, versions. Uh, at the, at the okay, that's something about um, spacey. Uh, yes, yeah, spacey. It's uh, answer to you. Uh, it's actually splitting on sentences. Uh, okay, so it's up to the space. And which which installation of spacey do you have? Uh, you know, I'm using, uh, let me check, I'm using like Efren uh, from Docker, so. Okay. And it, I tested with uh, my uh, my pipeline that I already changed, and uh, it's, uh, it's it doesn't work as parallel processing, but just one by one. And it works fine, I, I don't have any problems. Okay. Okay. I need to take a look at it because now I'm. I have googled this 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 error message. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's something about uh, add pipeline and create synthesizer. Uh, it's it's not enabled. Okay. I need to take it a uh, a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, mm -hmm. I'm like it would like by, the, by default it's uh, 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 uh like uh, enabled it should be okay uh, I, I take a closer but it's uh, i think about installation of space because something i i don't in the in my code i don't touch uh, uh like any kind of uh sentence sentence uh, mm -hmm. so everything is set on default in this regard and which, right. which version of uh, uh, Sky Space it you use? Yep, I, uh, just give me a, one second. Uh, 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 Okay. O two four as spacey itself. Wait, spacey two two four. Two two four. Okay, good. And yours? Yeah, um, I think I'm using latest. And uh, let me check the latest version. At least in my requirements file. Okay, so let me check. Mm. Actually, I reinstalled this uh, last week, so it's theoretically it should be also last, 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 last. Mm -hmm. One, two, two, four, four. Because it's hundred percent space related. I mean, like because yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I will investigate what what's going on. Yeah, but for sure something about installation because 
I like those synthesizer. I I don't touch it uh, in my code. Like it's by default is doing what it's supposed to do. But the, yeah, it's, but thanks for feedback because once again something that uh, uh, should be somehow uh, specified in config file. I mean, exact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Version, exact version of the of the say spi spicy or spicy itself, mm -hmm. uh, because otherwise it will crash also by some other else. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So, do you uh, have any uh, further uh, remarks, questions, proposals? Just taking a look. It's a thousand docs already processed in pipeline. Okay. Uh, yeah. Slowly okay. by slowly. So after you'll finish, it just. just uh... Please contact me on, yep. on Slack and uh, we have to uh, update everything in the infrastructure. Yep. I mean, like, but it's tomorrow, like, it will take the whole yep. night, probably. I yes. hope, I mean, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good. So, uh, if there are no questions, uh, uh, then we can finish this meeting. Uh, yeah, I hope that finally next time we will be able to talk about something else that pipeline for V19 <laughs> and that V19 uh, will become history as such. Yeah, so, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah, that, that's the, that's the hope. <laughs> okay, yeah. so thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time at the weekend probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye, everyone.